and I talk about a place where the sand is totally full and if you talk about the temperature it is crossing 40 degrees and it is so humid at that place that even a human can't survive without food and water. So can you guess which place I am talking about right now? Well, I don't know about you what is your answer but when I think of the answer to this question I like feel very kind of mostly like that only even though the answer is a desert area in a desert area basically it is so humid in temperature that even humans can't survive in that area but suppose if you talk about the Sahara desert or the Thar desert at that place can you imagine a human can survive about you but eventually the answer is no. So can you tell me that whenever you just imagine you will go to a desert area, what will you take with you? I don't know what is what you will take but one two things that you are bound to take are first of all the food, sufficient food for your survival and second thing is water. Without this survival can't be there. So, if water is so important, water and food is so important, then this guy, its name is a camel. You know a camel, right? So, how this guy survives in a very harsh desert condition? Hmm, kind of very secret. So, like I will drink water if I am getting thirsty. But in the desert, if my water bottle's water is now over, then what I will do? I cannot drink water. But how do these camel do it? We are going to find it out in our today's video. And then be sure to watch this video till the end. So let's start our video. So friends, camels, one of the most wonderful creatures of in our earth because this can tolerate a lot of heat. Well, one of the most important thing is the camel can store the water in their humps at the back. Well, you might have heard this that the camel store water in their hump. But most importantly, let me say that this is only a myth. Yes guys, there is nothing to be astonished, it is only a myth. Because camels do not store water in their humps. Well, it is true that the camels store water but not at their humps. We are going to discuss. So first of all, what will happen if in this desert condition you are going and you, you feel kind of very thirsty. You have taken your water bottle with you but you suddenly realize that the water bottle's water is gone. Uh, like uh, I have drank all the water. So in that case what you will do? You cannot reuse, reuse the water, right? Until you will find any kind of water sources around you. As a fact that this happens. But in case of camels, this doesn't happen. What happens? First of all, let me tell you one thing. That camels, these can drink 10 liters of water at once. Well, 10 liters of water at once. So why humans can drink hardly 1 to 2 liter of water at once, these camels can drink around 10 liters, 20 liters of water at once. That means when someone gives you a glass of water, you can only drink that much, not more than that, right? But these camels can drink up to 400 glasses of water at once. These camels have a lot of area to store this water. But it is not the humps for the story. So, but let us let us think that if humans even drink ten liters of water, then what is going to happen? Well, you can understand that first of all, all the excess water, what will happen is it will go to your breath. Okay. So, first of all, when you drink all the ten liters of water, it is getting excess of your body. After that, all this excess water is going to get inside your blood. Then the red blood cells are going to capture that the blood
blur that the water is excess isn't it because yes the water is excess in your body you have drank excess water so in that case the excess water will enter inside your veins and your veins they will get inside your blood cells you know if the water gets well the water obviously gets inside your blood cells and the blood cells expand one uh, uh, 150% then of its normal size so when the red red blood cell expands it can only expand up to a fixed quantity means a fixed area after that if it expands then it is going to burst so because of this excess water getting inside our blood cells the blood cells are going to expand and then burst so because of that it can be very harmful for our health but do you know one of the special thing about this camel's blood well this camel dude what does it do is all the excess water same as a human beings it goes inside the blood veins and after that only it gets inside the blood cells also but one of the most important thing is the blood cells that camels have is not equal to the human because the blood cells can eventually expand till 250 or 270 percent of the usual size and that much uh, means that much first of all that much of water if the red blood cells will contain then it's of no problem 10 liters can be easily available in their blood so first of all it goes to the camel's first stomach after the uh, after the uh, uh, camel drinks water it will go to his first stomach and then after it will go to the blood so this happens now one thing is a camel does store the water in its stomach then slowly 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 it releases the water to the blood cells and here the blood cells are playing an important role the water gets stored there not at the hump so why is the hump made for the camel dude because the camel dude also need to fight with the second problem which is not only if, if we just drink only water and survive in the uh, desert then is it going to make us survive for a long time of course not because we have discussed that two things are important one is water and second thing is food if food is not there then obviously the human is going to die so what is going to the camel do so in that case the camel will eat the food and it will store it in its hump well then if i talk about specific things it is not exactly food but fats you know all the fats that the camel is getting it will store in its hump one thing you understood that if anyone says you where does the camel stores all its water then be honest and say it stores in its stomach not on its hump so i hope you understood that the camel's hump is only made for fats not for water yeah so this was the main topic for our today's video if you like our video then be sure to click that subscribe button at the below and if you have clicked then just click on the like button because that is also important so i will be meeting you in my next video till then bye bye guys see you